evening everyone, my name is Ethaskins Code Primate, welcome back to another Lava Tech 2 video, I'm trying to rush over there as fast as I can because I don't want to miss the, the ferry, I just loaded in private server because I don't like the exploiters and I don't like people pushing stuff around on my base, don't have to pay for anything because I got that awesome badge of, of hooveriness, so <clears throat> we are going to try this again. I tried to go get you the um, blue wood on uh, Wednesday. And it turned out that it was it was completely closed down, so I had to go and get the paintings. So, long story short, I'm going to go try today, and hopefully something's going to be open. Pause! Steven! Pause the video! Oh, like, comment, subscribe down below. Pause! Unpaused. Okay, so we made it over to the other side. So, uh, right on, go to the other side. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me shut that door and shut that door. Then I should be able to jump up and jump in. Get out to your seat and jump around. <coughs> there we go. So, um, my lights are already on, I think. Lights? Yeah, lights are on. Um, and before I do this, uh, I'll give you an idea of, like, the path that I'm actually taking. That way you can kind of follow along if you pull out your handy dandy Blue's Clues maps. Um, hold on, where's Roblox Studio? There we go. Let's do this. Cut, and then if I show you right here so they they've got all these little things mapped out that's not what we're going to do so when we come down we're going to be coming down like this i'm going to be taking this right up here following this all the way around then we're going to go up here and we're going to check this door if that's closed we come back down here we go zippity zip and then here's the the horseshoe or the the wishbone that i was talking about we're going to check this door which looks like on this map it's open and then we're going to go over here and we're going to check this door. And then we're going to make this long track down the hallway. And then remember how I said that H, that little H symbol? That's right here. All right, going through the middle of the H. Come down to this hallway. Then we're going to check door number six. No, door number five. And then over here to check door number six. And then if those are closed, we're going to zip back down this hallway. And then we're going to check door number seven, door number eight. And if they're all closed, we'll just come back out here and... and go back out to the entrance. So, that's the path that I take every time when I'm checking these doors. And it's it's kind of easy to memorize once you get used to the maze, but I mean, I've had I've had plenty of practice, years of experience and uh, memorization of the map, so. Uh, and that's not to say I don't have all the parts of the map memorized, because it's just remembering what the layout is. And that helps big time. Memorizing the map is, is very good. So here's the top of the J. Should see door number one right there. There is no door number two. This is just dead end. So then we'll flip a Yui. We're going to turn back around. Okay, so I'll show you where we're at. Uh, right here. Right here is where we're at. Okay, see those are the two doors. Coming back down. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Go down the hallway. Straight. Take a left, and an immediate right, Ooh. and this is the wishbone, we're at the top of the wishbone, then we're at the bottom of the wishbone, Boop. take a left, that door is closed, and right here, that door is closed, so, doors number one, two, three, four, all closed, Oops. so now we're going to go check on five, six, and seven. Go down the long hallway, and then right through the middle of the H, a little H pass, down into the bottom part of the maze, take a head right, all the way through, and to the right is door number five, no, door number four, door number five, right there, so that didn't work out for us. Let's go check out door number six and door number seven. Door number six, come on, please. Door number six, please. Yes! Door number six is open. Okay, so uh, let's just check on door number seven real quick. Door number seven. Boom, closed. Okay, so it's door number six. So if we go and look at our map, this door right here is open. Okay? So, the next part to the map, this is this is the path that I usually take. Um, we are going to go straight, left, right, and then right 
through here. This is what I call the S path. This thing right here, this is this is the S pass. So when you hear me say S pass, that's what I'm talking about. Right, and then you just follow it to the right. And in this area, it's like straight on until morning. And boom, that's the blue one. So let's try it out. Going this way, going this way. We just keep going straight. It curves sharply to the left here, but we're gonna keep going straight up. This and it should be to our left right here, and to our left again. And this should be the little S pass that I was talking about. All right here. Comes out the other side. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. Stay to the right until it shoots you out straight. Boom! Go straight across the hallway and straight on to morning. And since this is a private server, the wood's not going to be that big. But it doesn't really matter. There's a ton of it down here, so let's just do some chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. I wonder if I could take like an entire piece of blue wood back. Like that. Can I? Can I grab this whole thing? Is that possible? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not trying that. <laughs> that is impossible feats. Of awesomeness. <laughs> chop. And chop some more. Chop suey. Chopping broccoli. Huh. Hope the dad's got that one. That was that Saturday Night Live skit right there. Funny. <clears throat> I also noticed is it only the inside of the glow wood that is glowing now? Because didn't it all used to glow? Like the whole thing used to glow. And now it's just the inside of the, the wood. I don't like that. I wish it were back to the way it was with the, the whole thing glowing. I'm sure somebody complained about it like, oh, I can't see where I'm cut. But you know, that's fine. We'll, we'll deal. Or wait, is it because my graphics are down? Hold up. No, I got my graphics all the way up. So it's not me. I think I cut that one wrong. Yeah, I cut that one wrong. Dang it. There we go. And then chop, chop, chop. There we go. So I'm just going to start dropping these in. Boink. Now, there's no, like, nice way to stack blue wood. Just because each piece has got a different uh, thickness and a different um, weight and size and stuff like that. I would say stack the, the big ones to the bottom first. That might be your best bet, but at the same time, if you stack the heavy ones on top, they'll push down on the wood and prevent it from sliding out. So, I mean, it's all preference, I guess. Is that, is that liftable? Ooh, that's a nice big cake right there. It's a cake of, of blue wood. All right, um, <clears throat> I might have to wait for Hoover on the way back, but that's fine. Just a nice, easy... I just realized I'm in the wrong view. There we go. That's that's the view that we were supposed to have. Because we're seeing my OBS and my snipping tools and stuff. And me looking up the map. I mean, I didn't need to look up the map. I did want to show you examples of where everything was. So. Oh, by the way, um, if you haven't seen the, um, the video by Jack UK... He actually went through and showed how the uh, the Manny axe is not superior to the Twitter axe when it comes to chopping blue wood. Mm -hmm. Good video, Jack. GG. Shout out to Jack UK. Or is it Jack at UK? I don't, I don't know. Is it G Jack? <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Um, I know that there's been a lot been going on in the news and that we have elections coming up and that the COVID and blah, blah, blah. There's so much stuff that people are worried about. And I just want you to know, I am still so paranoid about the virus itself. I'm, I'm super paranoid, like probably beyond reasonable uh, sanity version of, of actual paranoia. Um, yeah, I don't want it. I do not want, don't want, I don't want my family to get it. Uh, I'm worried about my kids. We are home. We're not homeschooling. We're doing the, uh, 
learn from home. So we've already got them signed up and, and we've already started working with the teachers on their, their classes and how it's, oops, how it's going to be handled. This is no good, no good. Uh, you know what? We can make two trips, it's fine. We should have plenty of time. I mean, maybe. Um, I will definitely want to turn around though, because I cannot see where I'm driving. There we go. There I got the ladder. Okay, so you kind of want to go around this little S thing like before, and then go straight on till morning. So you hit that S curve again, right here. Oh, sorry, that's not the S curve. That's like the top of the end of the curve. So this is the S curve right here. This S curve takes you into the second version of the cave, or the first version of the cave. And normally I would tell you, hey, stick to the right. I'm not going to tell you to do that this time. We are going to take our first left. Maybe. There it is. Oh, maybe not. That's the that's the wrong wall. Ah, there it is. That's the left I was looking for. Yes, Sally. Yeah, goose. Right there, where the ah, 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 door number six. Okay. So then we should be able to just jet up here, take a left, jet over here, take a right, jet up here, past the the painting hallway, and boom, we're out. So since I know where it's at now, I should be able to just like. Zip, zip it down, zip down through there. Now, something else that we might consider is if... Oh, gosh. If Hoover is gone, uh, I might just leave this truck here and zip on over to the other side and grab another truck. Ah, uh, he is gone. So, uh, something to consider. Um, take your axe, drop it, and then do a reset. Ooh. Oof. So hopefully I do the, the right um, res pad. Not that first one, it's gonna be the second one right here. Uh, so let's get this truck out of the way just in case that's not the truck that spawns. Let's spawn this truck. We'll take it out. And we'll head on over. Now one thing you want to do is uh, you do want to make sure that you hitch your, um, all your trees once you get back. You don't want to do this in a public server. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. This is, it's got bad uh, mojo written all over it. it. You do not want to do this in a public server. Do it in a private server. Uh, if you have a trusted friend, you could, you could actually, one of you could stay over here and one of you could go over there. And what you'll do is you'll have two trucks, all right? One of you is going to load up the truck, put it on Hoover's boat, and then take the second empty truck and go back down and harvest some more. And what you'll do is, as the truck goes over, that person, your friend, will grab the truck off the boat, put an empty truck on the boat, and then go and, and start processing your blue wood. And it just becomes this, this thing where you can make a lot of money really fast if you're both fairly good at it and you both have Twitter access. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. Steven, hit that beautiful bean footage. Uh, pause button. Awesome. Wait, what's the recording? Oh, we've only got like 15 minutes left. It's not bad. Hmm. Okay, Hoover, I need day now. You gotta, you gotta move the boat. Got it. Can I, all right, let's go check out the time. Come here, Hoover. I know as soon as I get out of the boat, you're, you're gonna be like, oh, I am, I'm gonna leave now. Oh, 58 seconds. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. 58 seconds. Alright, pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, was it really 58 seconds? Because I just, I counted, and you didn't, you didn't move yet. Are you, are you sure you got your times right there, Hoovery? Hoover, Hoover. Hehehe, got you again. <laughs> never gonna give you one, never gonna let you down, never gonna turn around, and Hoover... Mm, mm. We're moving. We are moving. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it, move it. 
We like to move it, move it. You like to move her. <clears throat> okay, so because of the amount of time that it, we wasted in between like waiting for the boat and the time that it's going to take us to get back there, I'm not sure that this is going to work. The, the truck might be empty when we get there. So I might have to jet run some 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 blue wood. Of course we already know which doors open, how to get there. So uh, the snippy tool. Hold on, can I cut it? There we go. Here. Let's take all this out. So if we do get over there and we need to zip run, it's gonna be straight here, 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 boom, like that. That's gonna be our straight path. <laughs> straight path, dude. <laughs> That's gonna be the straight path to get there. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the wood's still there. I can't, I can't see it. Can't see. Hey, at least my axe is still there. Oh, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Is all the wood gone? Oh, no. oh wait. I can't see. Can anybody else see? Is that blue? Is there blue wood? Ooh, blue wood. Blue wood. Come on, Hoover. Do it. GG Hoover. You made it in time. Okay, so we're just gonna jump out here. I'm gonna pick this up real quick. Pick, 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 pick. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Get in. Get in. Woo! We're just gonna just jet yeet you onto the truck. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I did not yeet as like I would want it to be yeet yeeted. The yeet did not happen. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna mess me up. I need I need to switch that right now. Boink. There we go. And now we are good. So I need to zip zippy down there. Turn on some lights real quick. Now we already have it cut from the first time, so I should just have to run and pick up, and we'll have uh, two truckloads. <laughs> and that's all in a matter of 20 seconds. No, no. Almost 20 minutes. It's not bad. Usually takes me about 30 minutes to do a. Uh, lava run. So. Alright, sticking to the left. Stick to the left, stick to the left. Take the left hallway, take the left hallway. Down. There we go. Missed the first one. And it's going to be on our right. Right there. There we go. Go straight on 10 morning. Straight, straight, straight. Sharp left. Take right. Oh, stuck. Stuck. And then left. Lefty. Left the room. Going down through the S right now. Come out the S, stick to the right. Straight on to morning. It's like instructions to Neverland. I am a code boy from Neverland. Always hanging out with the default I.O. And when I'm bored, I'll play in the maze. I could sit for an hour and in that blue haze chop chop code boy they said to me away from all of robloxity <clears throat> lumberland i love you so you are my so home sweet home Forever a code boy am I. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a that's gonna be a dandy. That's a dandy one for us. Do you ever wonder like the level of insanity that it takes to become a YouTuber or something like that? Like, seriously. Um, we sit here and talk to ourselves in front of cameras. And it's entertaining somehow. Well sometimes it's entertaining. Sometimes it's just boring. <clears throat> but you know we're not gonna speak of those those times um right, you know what i'm gonna chop this one down a little bit so it's wee there we go all right let's get out of here whoa 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 wh
Turn it around, Cole. Turn the truck around. Turn it around now. Make some blue wood happen. Turn it upside down. No, 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 no. Don't, don't turn the truck upside down. That's, that's a Hoover flip. All right, we're in the S cave right now. Oh gosh. Turn, turn on the S cave. And take a breath. And then this is where we pop out. Boom. We're in the second part of the cave. And we go. Wait. Is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a left here. Take a left here. Uh, sharp left. And this will put us right over. Oh, gosh. Door number six. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Door number six. And we take a left. Door number seven is just to our right. We head straight north and to the... Oh, gosh. I'm a little bit heavier with all this wheel on, on board. There we go. To the right here. Wow. Now we are heading up, up, and away. Up, up, and away, Hoover. <clears throat> zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Capoeira, pana, ooh. Was it, was it called, like, Only the Strong, or... I don't remember. There's a Capoeira movie. But I don't remember what it was called. It was a good, good movie for the 80s time frame. Good movie. That's what made me want to become a Capoeira master back in the day. Code, you were never a Capoeira master. Dude, don't make fun of my fattiness, okay? I know I've added a few pounds over the years, but if you think about it, it's only because I've been a programmer. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <sighs> okay, so now all we have to do is just sit and wait. I should probably chop some of these. Just to make sure that they stay. Did that, did that chop? <clears throat> By the way, you should never chop wood when it's inside your, uh, your vehicle. It would, like, most likely... Glitch. There we go. Okay. Dude, I could have packed up four trucks and, and had like four truckloads. Or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could have had six truckloads of blue wood. The ultimate or ultimate blue wood path. Yeah. Take that game logics. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't tell game logs jokes. I said that. Well, maybe. Actually, I don't care if you want to tell him. That's fine. He does uh, a lot of blue wood maze path stuff. And, like, I can, like, I think I, I got onto him back in the day because he used to use exploits. Maybe. Maybe he did. I don't remember. There was some reason. What was it? Anyhow. Long time ago. Long story short. Um, I'm okay with pretty much everyone now. So. That's good. I'm going to pause because I really don't want to wait. What is up with my green screen? What happened, Hoover? What'd you do? What'd you do to my face? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Roblox on the camera with the filters. Oh, okay. I just need to turn up the chroma key just a little bit. There it goes. There you go. One of my ties is actually shorter than the other, but you can't really tell, especially when I twirl them like this. <laughs> Sorry, Finding Nemo. <laughs> you totally rock, Squirt! Now give me some fin. <laughs> Noggin. Dude. Ooh, I didn't actually have to wait that long. It started moving. Yay. Now, just real quick, I wanted to say something. Um, I know, hold on. I know that this is still very Robloxy, and that it's it's all blockish and, and it's it's Roblox, right? But still, at the same time, for some reason, this always gets me. Like when you're looking out across the ocean, uh, the lumber ocean, and there's that reflection coming off the the things. Like that's a very 
nostalgic feeling. I don't know. I, I like that. Even though it's very Bloxy and it doesn't, like, I'm ready for Roblox games to start not looking like Roblox games. You might need a little bit more powerful computer, but at the same time, you could, like, lower the graphics and go back to, like, regular mode. But I'm, I'm definitely ready to start seeing some coolness. Oh, huge shout out to Martin Gregory 77. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the trucks off the boat, okay? Always make sure that you do that first because you don't want to... Uh... <laughs> there you go, Code. I'm gonna wait a second because you always do this. You, you wait until we just parked and then you like fling the trucks. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while. It's true. It's true. You haven't. You haven't been as mischievous as normal. What do you mean normal? I mean, like all the time. You you used to fling. Like that was the big joke. Was beware of Hoover. I never did nothing. Yeah, you did Hoover. You used to flip our trucks all the time. But I don't know if you just got tired over the years. I am tired. <laughs> Goodbye, you salty old sea captain. Goodbye, Code. All right. So, um, we are actually going to utilize my uh, thingy this time. So, actually, wait, can I just... You know what? I don't want to disturb the force. <clears throat> so, we're just going to do this one at a time. Nice and easy. Whoops. Boink. We are going to have such a mess <laughs> when we get up there. <laughs> I can tell you right now, it's this is going to be a lovely, lovely mess. So much blue wood. Oh, that was kind of cool. So like if one piece of wood got stuck on top of another piece of wood, it would knock it off. Okay, maybe not. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You're just being a difficult piece of blue wood. Is that? That's what your problem is. There we go. Uh, we might uh, think about angling right here, putting in some uh, longer wedges. Could help. Now I'm not really worried about the truck. Eight hundred and what? Fifty bucks for uh, for a truck spawn. Dude, skills! Did you guys see that parking job? That, like, there was never anyone in the world who would have done a better parking job than that. That was that was some skills. Can I get a hashtag skills in the comments down below? If you've made it this far in the movie uh, video, definitely throw a hashtag skills down there in the bottom. Skills! Oh, a lot of people were asking, hey, where does that come from? Uh, skills, right? Is it something that you made up? No, it's not. Um, so when Amethyst and uh, Garnet and Pearl are all chasing Steven, right? He's got like a cake or something. I don't remember what it is. But he jumps over something and catches the cake on, on the plate and just screams out, like, <laughs> surprises himself and then goes, Skills! <laughs> It's totally by accident, but it's so funny. So, that's where it comes from. Whenever whenever I do something cool and it was like completely accidental, it's like, SKILLS! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. We got, we got a jam, we got a jam. Pump up the jam, pump it up. Whoa. Boom. Boom. Okay, I heard I heard the beep beep. So that means these are going to be getting stuck now because they're just way too large for everything. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll help them out. We'll help them out. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's... Defaultio. I think I may have figured out something. Put the friction down on these. Change change their material. Because they're not sliding. They're not slidy enough. 
In fact, I think I'm going to suggest that today. Because they just don't, they don't slide properly for some reason. There's too much friction to get stuck. Uh, hold on, let's see if I can do that. Let's send a message to default. Email. Ah, the, whoa, 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 shh, quiet. <laughs> There it went. There you go. I do like that that little roller is right there to catch it and to pull it onto uh, the next part. That's a good thing. Uh oh, we got stuck um, wood down there. Wee! <clears throat> what did it get stuck on? Just get stuck on a little edge. You, sir, have been flying through here this whole time. Do you go do you go in here? Yeah you go in there. There you go buddy. There you go buggy. Boink, boink. Another one. Another one gets stuck on and another stuck in bear and another stuck in bear. Another one stuck on the conveyor. Whoa 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 well firewood is up Beep, 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 beep. Are we at 30 minutes? Oh, we are at 30 minutes. So I'm going to stand on top of this with this in my hand like an awesome. Oh, gosh. Really? Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's just chop you in half. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber's supposed to do. But it's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun! <sighs> it's getting so generic to say that. I mean, I should just be like, subscribe if you want. That'd be awesome. Thanks. You know, and, and it would shorten that to like the shortest thing ever. And that would be awesome. But, you know. <sighs> I had fun. Uh, I hope you did. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we will talk to you very soon. Steven! Outro.